you do anything and your soul is bifurcated so like me my soul isn't just me like there's another me out there in a higher dimension just kind of like living and there's a part of of me that just came down and is living this life and I'm trying to help this life it's really bizarre and it would be another video but um but um, anyway, there's an infinite amount of third dimensions. So they were telling um, Eisenhower, you know, this is you could this is a potentiality for your world in this dimension. This is a potentiality, and we just want to help you guys because you know because there's this other aliens here who've had some problems, and that's why they're here. And anyways, do you want to? What are we going to do? Do you want to um, tell the people the world so that we can? Because you guys are eventually going to become an intergalactic uh, federation. You're going to eventually become, find out about the aliens and, 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 uh, and um, the space travel and everything. And then he goes, well, and he was a really good person, but he goes, well, I don't think they're ready to know. Because there was, you know, the 50s was right after World War II, and there was also, you know, a lot of racism, and it was the Cold War going on, so they go, hmm. No, I don't think I'll do that. People will freak out. So they were like, okay, you know, we can't interfere with your free will, and they left. And um, and then right after that, the other aliens came in, not the ones who were not so good. So good. Uh, I don't know who they were. Maybe the Anunnaki. Um, um, or the Orions. I don't know. Maybe they look like us. But they came and they offered. Um, or no, I'm sorry. It was the Zetas. Because there's another kind of Zeta who come from this planet, come from Earth, but in another parallel universe, from the third dimension where we are, another Earth. And they, um, they came and said, yeah, we have all this technology, um, but we're fucked up. Because what happened to them is they were on the Earth, I think it was this planet actually, you know, in, in, um, in the future. The way parallel universes work is we have parallel universes on this exact time frame. So there's another universe where I'm, I'm here right now, only I have another job. But then we also have, a, you know, an infinite amount of different um, timelines or like, you know, a development. So there's, and that's how time travel works. So you can go to a parallel universe that's behind you. And so that's like going back in time. So you're not going back in time in your parallel universe. That would be impossible. And that's why people don't believe time is, time travel is possible, because, you know, time goes forward forever. But you just go to a parallel universe that's behind you, and that's time travel. Or another parallel universe that's in the future, and that would be future travel. So basically, that's what they did. They went to a parallel universe that was behind them, which is our planet. And what happened with them was, they are, um, they, they, um, they got to the point where we are now in now I think we're going to um, see we're in a certain place in the universe now this is only my little guess here because I saw some video somewhere on the TV on YouTube where we're supposedly crossing inter the galactic plane you know where the the middle of the galaxy caused by the spinning black hole in the center of the galaxy spreads out from the centrifugal force this thin line of sheet of high end high energy which we're going to pass through and then it's going to burn up our planet destroy our planet um, in the third dimension which is where we live but we will but we're going to be fine because we're going to ascend to the higher dimension so that happened to them but they um, but but if they're not if you're not good if you're if you're like evil you um, you can't do that because you have to be good to us. And so they they went underground expecting this whole all of this um, all this energy that was going to burn up everything, and they created um, tunnels. And supposedly we've been that's what we've been making tunnels in this world for because there's people in this world who are expecting that. And they um, they went underground, and they lived underground for so long that they they had, they had and they continued to evolve with their technology probably from the help of other aliens who just wanted to help them continue to survive and they were able to feed themselves through uh, 
just sitting in, in like a vitamin water and they could absorb it through their, their skin and then they would eat but they would just absorb it through their mouth and then they just they mutated over a long period of time I don't know how long maybe it was millions of years but they uh, but they uh, they got to the point where they couldn't even swallow their mouth you go in and you can their mouth and there's they could, it's just a bunch of little flaps that would open up and absorb the food and um, those are the gray aliens and then so then they but then they continued so then they had to uh, evolve by um, cloning themselves and they clo so they cloned and cloned and cloned and then they cloned so much that they were about to die you know the clone just kept getting worse and worse and worse and they got more and more and more um, separated from God basically separated from the light and because that's just not natural uh, you're supposed to um, um, per perpetuate your species by mixing, you know, male and female and mixing all the DNA from all the different people everywhere around and that's how um, you can maintain, um, stay um, genetically um, varied, genetically um, fresh and constantly growing. And, so they just went down some tunnel that kept getting smaller, and then they were like, shit. And, but they could, but, you know, that's when they go, okay, well, let's figure out what we're going to do. Maybe somebody told them. And that's about when we um, had the nuclear bombs go off, which opened up the, the hole where they could fly over here and abduct us. But they needed permission. So they come over, and that's when they, after the good aliens left, they came in and they said, okay, we're going to give you um, technology and you help you just let us or we're gonna um, abduct people and get their DNA so that we can create a new type of um, of alien a new type of human for us to perpetuate our species because we want to survive and um, so that's what they did that's that's where all the abductions come from and um, so they pretty much their race died out um, and they per they perpetuated themselves by half them and half us and um, so that's where the Roswell crash came from. They crashed, maybe on purpose, maybe not on purpose. Um, maybe it was like a test flight because when they found Roswell, there was a human in there, like who looks like us. But and then there were also alien, gray aliens. So the gray aliens and us humans kind of have been working together with the shadow government, if you want to call it, or the black government um, in Area 51. And there's a there's a biologist named Dan Burish who was actually hanging out with one named Kyle, I think, who um, who they had pretty much captive, and maybe they found him from one of these wrecks. I guess there were a few wrecks um, that we've been back engineering and making spaceships out of. And he wanted to go home to his planet. I guess he was from another planet, and he actually helped him, pushed him through a stargate, and he he he, he warp drive over there. And um, so I guess there's lots of planets. That's kind of like something that can happen to a planet is when you get to a certain um, stage where you can ascend, uh, you either, you know, turn into a utopian society and go on or you destroy your planet and then have to move underground. And, and so that happened with in, in Zeta and that happened um, on Earth in another dimension. And so they, um, that's basically where we are now. We're, 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 we're living now in all this computer age and all this technology that comes from um, from these gray aliens who've been giving it to us. Um, but it's not it, it's kind of happening in in the, in the way of of not tell the people. That's what the idea was. Just don't tell the people because they're not ready. Um, but anyways, we will be ready, and that's a whole other. I think that's another video to tell a whole timeline of disclosure. But um, they, um, those are the gray aliens. So, then there's, then their, um, their children are called the, um, are called the, um, hold on, they're called the, the ones, the, 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 the hybrids, the half gray, half humans, are called the, um, the Sifai. It just it means living light in their language, um, which is actually a hybrid of, of, you know, the ancient language that they 